Okay, so merge sort is a method of sorting an array based on the divide and conquer approach. What do we mean by divide and conquer? As the name suggests, it means first you divide the problem into smaller sub problems, which are easily handleable. And then you merge back the solutions or you conquer by merging back the smaller sub problems into the solution to the bigger problem. That is the whole concept of divide and conquer. So how does divide and conquer apply to sorting? Now let's take a look at merge sort and understand it better. So think about it. Now the problem that we have, the large problem is we have a huge array that we want to sort. So how can we break it into a smaller problem? The simple way to break it is just break the array into two and sort the smaller array, right? That's one way of breaking it. And then we need to figure out some way of merging the two sorted arrays into one big sorted array. If we can do that, then we have handled our problem, right? And in fact, we can do it even better by we keep on dividing the big array into smaller and smaller and smaller arrays until the array is so small that it's easily sortable. And then we conquer back by sort uh, merging the sorted arrays back into bigger and bigger and bigger arrays until we get back our original array. So that's the idea. That's the basic idea behind merge sort. Let me show you with the animation how merge sort really works. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the divide step. In the divide step, all we are going to do is we are going to divide our array into half. And remember, an array can be even or odd sized. So if it's odd sized, then I'll divide it into unequal halves. If it's even sized, it will become two equal halves. That's all there is to it. No need to worry too much. So first, let's take a look at the divide step. Okay, so first we have an array of six elements. So it gets divided into two arrays of three and three elements. Now we have two arrays of three and three. So we're going to again divide them, right? So now we have an odd numbered element array. So the three element array becomes two and one. Same with the array on the right hand side, it becomes two and one. Now, when am I going to stop this divide? Now notice on the left hand side, finally, when I redivide the two element array, I just get one element each, right? So at the last level, I have an array with just one element. Now the key insight or a not so key insight is that an array with one element is already sorted, right? So our idea was to keep dividing the problem into smaller and smaller problems that are easily solved. Now, if you have an already sorted array, your problem is already solved, right? So basically you stop dividing when you come down to one element arrays. At this stage, we are done with the divide part of our algorithm. So we've divided the problem into smaller and smaller and smaller problems. Now we need to figure out how to make use of the fact that our sub arrays are already sorted and merge them back into bigger arrays. Okay, so think about this carefully. What we have now is six arrays. 52 is an array of its own. 34 is an array of its own. 86 is an array of its own. 17, 66 and 10 are arrays of their own. And we want to merge them back into the big array, which is already sorted. So let's take a look at the <coughs> conquer part. Now again, take a look at the screen. The way conquer works is like a pile of cards. Let's say you have two piles of cards on the table with face up and both the piles of cards are sorted. Okay, so sorted in say ascending order or something. So ace two, three, four, five up to king and ace two, three, four, five up to king on the other side. Now what you want to do is you want to pick between the two cards, uh, uh, between the two decks, you always want to pick the smaller element from the top of the decks. That is the idea. So let's say your deck on the right side contained all the odd numbers. And let's say your deck on the left side contained all the even numbers. So on the left side, you would have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. On the right, hand, right side, you would have ace, 3, 5, 7, 9. And the result you wanted to make a deck which is completely sorted. So what you would do is you would always take the smaller of the two top cards, right? So first you would take the ace, then you would take the two, then you would take the three, then you would take the five. So that is the simple idea behind merge sort. You have two sorted arrays. So you start looking at them from the beginning element and you compare the two beginning elements and you pick the smaller one. Then you move that array forward and so on. Okay, so let's see how it happens. Now, our two sorted arrays are 52 and 34. So on the left hand side is 52 on the right hand side is 34, which is the smaller element 34. So that's the one we choose first. 
then which is the smaller element 52 because the 34 array is already finished there are no more elements left so then we choose 52 same with 17 and 66 left hand side 17 right hand side 66 which is the smaller element 17 choose it then 66 okay now we have another conquer step so at the second conquer step we have now two sub arrays right so 34 52 is one 86 is the other now left hand side smallest element 34 right hand side smallest element 86 which one do you choose you choose 34 now left hand side smallest 52 right hand side 86 which one do you choose 52 now finally 86 because there's nothing left on the left hand sub array now look at this example 17 66 and 10 left hand side smallest element 17 right hand side 10 so you choose 10 then there's nothing left on the right hand side so you copy over the entire left hand side because it's already sorted right so now if you look at your bigger arrays 34 52 86 already sorted 10 17 66 already sorted right so by uh, doing this over and over again we are getting bigger and bigger sorted arrays now again let's do this take a look at the first element on the left hand side is 34 first element on the right hand side is 10 you will choose 10 now the first element on the right became 17 first element on the left became 34 17 got chosen then 34 got chosen then 52 66 and 86 got chosen so as you can see from this animation merge sort is an excellent way to do uh, sorting by breaking your bigger problem into smaller and smaller sub problems it is a fairly straightforward sort except um, the code can be a little tricky but when we write it let me assure you that it's not very tricky at all now why is merge sort important merge sort is really important these days because of parallel computing so think about it when you break your problem into smaller and smaller problems you need not do it on the same computer you can break your array into two and give it off to two different computers to sort and then you can merge it back onto your computer right so think about it if you had a huge uh, server farm or something if you had a million servers and you wanted to sort a billion numbers you could still do it you just needed to divide the billion by a million and send them off to be sorted on each machine and then you just needed to merge it back so divide and conquer is an excellent way to make use of highly parallel systems and merge sort is one example of a divide and conquer algorithm all right so i hope with the animation how merge sort works is clear to everyone now let's jump into code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to code up a class called merge sort and i've already uh, saved it in a file called merge sort.java that part is clear to everyone already uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by writing a main method where i describe the different steps in this example and then i'll code in the methods that i use here one by one okay so the first thing i do in my main is i read in the input uh, say from the user or from a file or wherever you want to read the input from let's just put that away in a method of its own called read input array then let's print that uh, input array is and then uh, let's have a utility method called print array which takes an array and just prints it to screen so print array input array now remember i have not written any of these methods so this is not going to compile but i want to first build the structure of my program and then i'll fill in the blanks one by one okay so the next step is to sort the input array and uh, what i've decided with sort is that i will sort the input array and store the result back in itself i'm not going to return a new array which is sorted so sort is not going to return anything it's just going to sort the input array and store the result back in the input array itself and uh, then finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the sorted array and i'm going to say print array and i'm going to print the input array again but this time it is already sorted okay so this is my structure of the code and uh, if i go and compile it now it is definitely going to fail because i have so many methods that i have called and none of them are implemented right so there it says cannot find symbol for read input cannot find symbol for print array cannot find symbol for sort which is exactly what we expected it to do so let's now code up the simple utility methods first so uh, they're all going to be static unfortunately or fortunately because they are being called from main right so uh, the first one i'm going to print up is the input array so uh, sorry the print array method so print array just goes over the elements of the array and prints it so let me do it really quickly for int i equal to zero i less than array dot length i plus plus 
system dot out dot print array of i plus couple of spaces and maybe a comma in between all right so this method is really simple it's just going to print the array elements one by one that's all it does okay now the next method i'm going to code up is the read input array method now read input array can be done in many different ways you could choose to read input from the user from the command line you could choose to read input from the file so i'm not actually going to code it in i'm just going to return a static array so a sta by static i mean the values are already fixed so let's say 56 12 99 minus 3 uh, 4 5 this is the array that i'm going to return back to the main method all right now comes the important part so let me go and compile and see java c uh hold on so we need a semicolon there java c merge sort dot java okay so the only method left now is the sort method which is the important method here so i'll say static void sort which takes a integer array as argument all right so let me call it input in this case now i'm going to use merge sort right so let me just uh, send this off to merge sort for now merge sort input okay and uh, <clears throat> merge sort also requires uh, two extra parameters zero and input dot length minus 1 okay so you'll see why um, in a bit now i need to define the merge sort method so static void merge sort which takes the array a low index and a high index now you are thinking why has he made this low index and high index now think about it what does merge sort do merge sort divides the problem into smaller and smaller sub problems right so how do we keep track of what the size of the problem is that we need to solve we do that by keeping track of the start and the end of the array that we need to sort so if you think about it when you want to sort the entire array the start is 0 and the end is input dot length minus 1 right this is the starting and ending uh, index of the array say you only wanted to sort half of the array then your start index would be 0 your uh, end index would be the middle or input dot length upon 2 right if you wanted to sort the second half of the array your start index would be middle plus 1 or input upon 2 plus 1 and your end would be input dot length right so what i'm trying to say here is merge sort takes three parameters the array itself a start index and a end index which are the a sub array that needs to be sorted right so now merge sort is a recursive algorithm it's an algorithm that calls itself now the first thing that we do in merge sort is we put a breaking condition so we first say only in the case where low is less than high right so if the start index is less than the end index only then you want to sort further sub divide this problem otherwise your if low is greater than or equal to high that means that your array is either of size 1 or your array doesn't exist if low is actually greater than high so we put a condition if low is less than high then what we do is we calculate the midpoint we say int mid is equal to low plus high divided by 2 then we recursively call merge sort with the array starting at low going up to mid so we've divided this is the first half in the second half we'll send the array from mid plus 1 up to high so this is our divide part okay so it will successively divide into mid 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 so we'll get smaller and smaller arrays and uh, once the division is done we are going to write the conquer step which is called merge merge two arrays into one big array so merge takes array and it takes low mid and high because in merge you need actually two arrays to merge right so low to mid is one array mid plus one to high is the other array so you actually need three parameters low